guys, today I'm going to be talking about some film techniques in rear window. If you haven't checked out my video on film techniques to help you get familiar with some of them, then go ahead and check that out and then come back to this video. Even if you're not studying rear window for VCE, I think the way that I'm analyzing this movie in the next few minutes should give you enough of an idea for you to take away and go ahead and apply those same analytical skills to your own film. So let's get started. To summarize this movie really quickly, the entire film is from the perspective of LB Jeffries as he is wheelchair ridden and spends his time looking out his rear window. We look and see many of his neighbors and we come to understand their lives a little bit too well. This film follows a murder mystery and the question is, who done it in this neighborhood? So if we have a look at the introduction to this film, the first thing you'll notice is there is non-diegetic music. It's fast paced, suspenseful, and it keeps you on your feet. For me, this music is jazz, so it's very upbeat, and therefore it makes the audience unsuspecting that something sinister is about to happen. The second thing is frames. In our first shot, have a look at the frames. There's a slow reveal of a three panel window. The theme of voyeurism is immediately established where you enjoy watching others. Throughout this film, there are constantly shots which are framed by window frames, door frames, and hallways. The window is shown to represent an almost cinema-like view for Jeff. He is the spectator of this theater where he sits and watches his neighborhood from his chair. Camera movement. The camera moves like somebody moving towards the window. We're viewing out. The entirety of the film is seen through the window of the protagonist. The camera moves forwards as though someone in the house is moving towards the window where we're watching out onto the neighborhood. As we see the stories of other people living in the apartments unfold, we see it all framed by their windows. This gives a strong sense of being an outsider, separate from the going-ons of these people, and yet strangely intimate. Number four, there's no dialogue. This adds to the theme of voyeurism. The opening of this film has no dialogue at all. Instead, through the way the camera moves, we're able to gain a lot of insight on the happenings and going-ons of this neighborhood. Through the camera work with close-ups, we understand a great deal about the neighbors, but also Jeffries, who is wheelchair brown because of his injuries. We learn that he is a photographer and that he is a big traveler as well. And that he has a very close relationship with a famous model and celebrity. Diegetic music. The majority of the sound throughout the film is actually diegetic, opposed to non-diegetic. This means that us as viewers experience the film as though we are there ourselves. This links back to the idea of the camera movement moving out and watching out onto the field as though we are participating in this watching ourselves. Number six, symbols. The audience are showing everything through Jeff's eyes through the use of binoculars and these binoculars represent his sight. It gives us again a real feel for Jeff and his isolation. The use of the small alleyway onto the main street also highlights the sense that Jeff is socially isolated and any social encounters are far away in the distance. Setting. The way that the neighborhood is constructed reflects how this is Jeffrey's entire world, at least while he's stuck in the cast. The only avenue to the outside world is a small walkway that enters onto the main street, which again highlights his social isolation and that any social encounters are far away in the distance. Lighting. This is used again to convey a deeper meaning to the audience, but this time in a very literal sense. Lighting is used to represent knowing. When the people in neighborhood apartments have their lights on and shades open, we and Jeffries are able to see them and what they are doing. When they have their lights off or they're in silhouettes, Jeffries, as well as us, can't know. Jeffrey uses this to his advantage as well when he peers into the murderer's home. He asks to turn his lights off when he's doing something that he shouldn't be and his lights on when he's not watching the neighborhood. Nine, foreshadowing. The insurance nurse at the beginning of the film says, I've got a nose for trouble. I can smell it 10 miles away. All of this is foreshadowing something terrible that is about to happen. Context. The audience are shown people shaving, waking up in the morning, and answering the phone. 
very normal everyday activities. This represents that each of these windows show a sneak peek of what life was like as an American, living in this part of America in the 1950s, especially because each character represents a different background. These are just 10 film techniques that I have discovered within the first 15 minutes of this film. Let me know if there's anything else that you have found within the first 15 minutes of this film. And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed what I had to say. It was very succinct because I just wanted to give you a sneak peek into how I analyze films in order to prepare for my essay writing. If you wanted to request a film for me to focus on next time, then feel free to do that. And I will see you guys next time. See you guys soon.